Hello and welcome to Hyper Production with me, Rory. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own custom drum kit within Logic Pro 10. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to create your custom drum kits within Logic Pro 10. Now we're going to dive straight into this. So the first thing you're going to upload is the EXS24 sampler instrument. So I've just been using it, so it's at the top here on most recent. Go down to stereo, and then you're going to click on this edit button. Now if you don't have the edit button, you need to go to Logic Pro X, preferences advanced tools and you need to enable all once you do that the main application so logic pro 10 will then restart quickly and then you'll be able to click that edit function so then when we click that it's going to open up this window this is basically our viewer browser window for inside of the exs24 sampler instrument so this is where we can drag and drop all our samples and put them into and assign them to keys as well as some other parameters as well so then if we go to our main sample library if you like or a folder full of various different samples we've got all our kicks and claps and whatever organized into folders we're going to go to kick here then we could just audition them within mac os you could just press spacebar and then that will play the sound okay so then you just go through all your samples and then whatever ones you like you just chuck in there okay quite like that one Okay, cool. I'm quite like number seven there as well. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go on to our claps. That one was quite nice. That's quite nice. Cool, and that number seven was quite nice. And then we go and pick maybe some hi-hats. So some closed ones. Cool, so those three are quite nice. And then continuous zones. Yep, so that's going to put them all on separate keys. And then we'll probably go for a slight open one as well. Okay, cool, just go for one of those for good measure. So now we can close that window. And then once we're basically finished done with selecting our samples, we're then going to organize it within the sampler instrument. So obviously they're going to be all over the place at the minute. So these bars... Each one of these blue bars represents one sample and it will automatically assign it across the whole bed of the keyboard, okay? So an easy way to get around that is if you hold down shift and then click each one, it will then select them all or if you just go in the main window and then hold shift and then select them all like that. We're going to click on low, we're going to go all the way up and then we're going to drag high all the way down so then that will give us our individual hits then from here we can then drag each one so if we click the name of it it's then going to highlight down here so we probably want this one on c1 so all the kick drums all at the bottom here so just like that and what we're going to do we're just going to change them all to single keys so then we've got another kick drum down here. Then put this one here. So we're just going to put them in order of each other. And it's important to always arrange your samples within the same order every single time. And I'll explain why in a sec. Because it is very important. So then we've got all our... And I'll open hi hat at the end there. I'm just going to highlight all these and budge them down one. Okay, so that means on C1, we've got all our keys. We've got them all there. Now we're going to switch one shot on for all of them. Then we're going to switch pitch off. Or if you highlight them all, just click them off like that. Okay. Okay, so all our drum kits are there and primed and ready to go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to click on this X here. It's going to prompt us to save it. And then we're going to click save. And I'm going to call this one Future Bass 
drum kit because it's got a bit of a trappy future bass type sound. Now you can save these wherever you wish, but I always find that sometimes they do get lost within various files. So you need to make sure you just keep them all in one safe place. So I'm going to save them in sample instruments there. And then where that's going to take me is user, music, audio music apps, sampler instruments and that's where they're all going to be don't be confused with if you see some sample instruments in mac hd library application support logic and then sample instruments they're the factory sounds that's not where your custom drum kits are going to be set now i mentioned a minute ago about always ordering your samples within the same order every time you create a custom drum kit. Now the simple reason behind that is when you have obviously mapped out in the MIDI region all your drum hits so you've got a beat going you've got a groove completed within the MIDI region but then you don't like that particular drum kit you can then just easily switch between the different drum kits. So imagine you've just clicked down here and you've created trap kits or a particular type of trap whatever whatever you've named it. You can then select which drum kit you've got and then it will automatically trigger those sort of notes so if you've got a kick drum hitting every time on c1 doesn't matter what drum kit you pick to then test out the sound the kick drum is always going to be on c1 so that's a really quick and easy way to audition loads of different drum kits or get a different sound this does take a little while but if you keep doing it after every track that you've made so you like the particular drum kit that's on there then just save that drum kit and you'll build up a huge collection and then you'll have a arsenal and a library of unique drum kit which no one else probably will have so it's a real good refresher and uh, a real good workflow tip to try and speed up getting those awesome drums within your track so i hope you've learned something in today's tutorial if you've got any questions or you've got any tips on how you speed up your workflow with creating custom drum kits then please leave them in the comments section below if you haven't already please don't forget to subscribe give this video a big old thumbs up and don't forget to join our mailing list at www hyperproduction.com and find out when we launch our brand new website so i've been rory thank you very much for watching